Hey guys, this is CK and wow, what a tactical masterclass at the Malaysian Open men's singles final from Victor Aktilson against Kento Momota. This one will sting a little for Kento, but it's good to see him back into another final again. It's an incredible tactical showing from Victor and there's lots to learn for all players. So let me break it down for you with some match analysis. Victor had a clear tactical plan right from the beginning to pressurize Kento and tighten the screw at any given opportunity. Having sat and gone through the whole game in detail, three clear things popped up for me. To execute his amazing game plan, Victor used three things amazingly well in this match. His serves, long diagonals, and taking charge at the front of the net or taking away Kento's net. Let me show you how Victor layered his tactical masterpiece here. Step 1. Serve. We all know Victor has a strong attacking game, but Kento is known for his defense and ability to continuously pick up shows. You won't win many points against Kento if you attack him directly without opening the court. So what Victor did was vary his serves. He holds the show for a few seconds each time whilst twisting his body to add a little variation before serving. And to add even more variety, Victor was flicking Kento a lot in the match both on the forehand and backhand sides as well. So actually, our legendary commentator Gillian Clark made a comment at the very start of the match on the first point about Victor's seemingly loose and low quality serve. Okay. Victor Axelson nearest to us. Oh dear, that was a bit of a loose serve, wasn't it? Against the... In hindsight, I actually think that was a pre-planned shot to check if Kento would be onto a slightly loose and out of place serve. Kento did not pounce on it and Victor repeated a different loose serve and Kento again did not really attack it. That might have just made up Victor's mind to continue with layer one of his tactical master plan with his serve. Step two. Long diagonals. The second layer to Victor's tactics was to make Kento move in long diagonals as much as possible, as it's the longest distance between two points on court. As the top two ranked players in the world, they all know they can move around the court really well, but the goal is to make the court as big as possible, putting your opponents under as much pressure as you can. You can see that Victor is trying to move Kento in long diagonals at every single opportunity he has, and this has resulted him in winning lots of points. As Victor is tall, getting incredible angles downwards on his shot is one of his key strengths and he's used it to great effect. By taking advantage of Kento's tendency to play more straight shots than cross-court shots, Victor tends to feed off Kento's straight shots by turning them into cross-court shots, forcing Kento to cover the long diagonals here. Here is a prime example of Victor combining his tactical flick serve and the ability and discipline to play the long diagonals. Victor immediately opened up the court with his serve by forcing Kento wide and into the rear court. It doesn't help that Kento's smash wasn't a particularly good one in this case, and Victor turned his block shots, forcing Kento to scramble the long diagonal to lift it out. Victor adds more pressure by immediately smashing cross to open up the court again, but Kento was able just to pick up the smash up with a block, albeit one that's slightly loose. It was again compounded with a super tight net shot by Victor, which resulted in Kento having to do an incredibly hard lift. Boom. Textbook, tactical layering, and incredibly efficient. The final step in Victor's tactical master plan was to take charge of the net or take away Kento's net. This one is a piece of high level skill by Victor which was utilized extremely effectively but can only be pulled off with incredible shot selection and quality. Victor took charge of the net by forcing Kento away from the net by holding and flicking Kento deep into both his forehand and round head corners. By taking advantage of Kento's tendency to play slightly softer shots and straight under pressure, Victor was able to step in early, hold a shot for a while, either flicking it or pushing his shot flat into one of the rear corners. This is actually quite hard to pull off as the shot can be easily dragged wide or worse, too central and he'll get punished. If there's too much height on the shot, then it won't have enough pressure, again putting yourself in trouble. But Victor was very clearly trying to move Kento around with as much pressure as possible and take charge of the front court by keeping Kento guessing and not being able to play his usual net game. It was incredible shot quality from Victor all round. So when Victor was able to combine all three layers of his tactical plan together, it was just incredible to watch. This is so much we can learn from Victor's game here today with the variety, shot selection and quality alongside other subtleties such as breaking up the rhythm by requesting a change of show mostly when Kento won points. This perhaps is to allow Victor himself more time to compose and think about his tactics through for his next point. 
Coupled with knowing your opponent's shot making tendencies would really give yourself the upper hand in a match and Victor demonstrated that to perfection today with his layers of tactics alongside flawless execution. Sure, Kento isn't feeling his best, but he's no slouch. You don't randomly end up as a two-time world champion without being an incredible player to begin with. I look forward to seeing Kento back at his best again. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like me to break up more tactics in future matches, or would you prefer a stats-style analysis? Till then, I will see you in the next one.